welcome once again to MWS TV. And today I have a very special guest, my friend Lynn from Planet Bug TV. Hello. And uh, today what we're doing is a collaboration video where um, we will be talking about the top three things that we recommend for uh, tropical weather, hot and humid weather. While over at Planet Bug TV, uh, we will be sharing our top three favorite snacks. Hey. So head over there and uh, check it out. But uh, so what we have today are top three things that we recommend that you use in a very hot and humid climate like we have here in Malaysia. That's right. Okay, and uh, for myself, the first item I, I'd suggest that you have on hand um, is a facial mist. Uh, this one is the L'Occitane uh, Perfecting Peony Perfecting Mist, which is a uh, very hydrating sort of um, mist. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so all you do is spritz it on, it refreshes you, and if you like, it also helps set your makeup. So have a uh, mist on hand, and it will freshen you up almost instantly. Okay, what do you right? have? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I should have removed my glass. <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> What do you have on your top of your list? Um, well, I have sunscreen. Um, <laughs> as you know, we live in such warm and hot, uh, warm and hot and sunny <laughs> tropical weather that you need to apply your sunscreen. And this is one of the best anti-aging skincare advice I can give anyone is to always, always apply your sunscreen or a sunblock. So the one I like using is by both by Hada Labo. Um, the, the one on my face that I normally use is the Aqua UV Air and I think this one is for oily to combination skin. They have another type for dry or normal skin as no. well if I'm not mistaken. So it comes in two different varieties and I really like this one because it's very lightweight. Um, it doesn't c create that white cast. And yeah, it's moisturizing enough that, you know, if you use it on top of a moisturizer or on its own sometimes, that it's actually moisturizing enough if you have very, very oily skin. So the other one that I really like, um, and this one I normally use on my body, or my arms especially, is the Hada Labo Perfect UV Gel. Ah, um, it has body. Yeah, 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 oh. that's right. This one has a very gel-like consistency as it says. Um, it's not as moisturizing as this other one, um, which is why I like using it on my body, but it's oh. not sticky. Oh, okay. So okay. that's the best part about using this um, sunscreen as well. So those are my first two, not really, my first picks. <laughs> <laughs> right, on to my second pick and what you would probably uh, find when you live or are visiting a tropical country is that it is very humid and it is very hot. So you do not really want um, skin care that is very heavy on your skin. So what I like to do is go for something gel-like in texture, um, go for a gel moisturizer. And in the evenings, if you do not want something heavy, you do not want to carry around your regular um, heavy night cream or moisturizer, I suggest using a sleeping mask. Uh, this is the Laniche Water Sleeping Mask, which you have heard uh, me talk about before, before this. And it has a very um, light gel texture and it's very easy to use. You just apply it on and oops, go to sleep and um, yeah, it, it keeps your skin nice and hydrated all night long. Yeah, I think I used to have this as well. Yeah, it's, a very, it's, good, quite nice. it's a very yeah. nice product and it's not too expensive. Yeah, exactly. So I guess my next item would be eyeshadow primers. Um, I don't think PB actually needs no. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I have very, very oily lips. So, you know, if I want to wear eye makeup in this hot tropical weather, I need to have my eyeshadow primers. And these two are my current favourites. One is by Clinique. It's all about shadow. And... The other one is by Essence. This is a very, very affordable and cheap option that you can get at most drugstores. I think over here you can get them at Watson's. So um, it's called the I Love Stage <laughs> Eyeshadow Primer. 
I know this brand is actually marketed to very very young people, but like I said, I'm keeping happening. So <laughs> yeah, it's so, affordable. Yeah, it's yeah, affordable. yeah, and it's, it's very very yes. affordable. I think it was less than twenty ringgit. Wow. Yeah, and it works equally. Sometimes I think, if not better than the Clinique one, which I bought for seventy ringgit, I think sixty Ooh. or seventy ringgit. Yeah, yeah. So it's this a one is of the price. Yeah, exactly. So this one is a really, really good option. Um, if you're looking for you know a good and cheap eyeshadow primer. And the third item on my uh, top three list for tropical um, things that you need in a hot and humid climate is. An umbrella okay this is a small foldable umbrella and um, uh, in you do not just use an umbrella because it's raining because when the Sun is so hot um, you really want to protect yourself from the um, UV rays or even just from the Sun rays and uh, we don't really like wearing hats firstly they make your head sweat and then you get very bad head hair yeah, I agree. <laughs> right? And, um, okay. Um, and you look like a tourist. Yeah, or you, or you <laughs> just look pretentious. You yeah, just look pretentious, that, right? True. So we, we, we'll only wear straw hats if we are doing any gardening. That's all I guess. That's true. <laughs> all, all at the beach. All at the beach. Yeah, that's yeah. true. But otherwise, no, not when you're walking around the city. You look quite pretentious or very touristy. So the next best thing you can have is a foldable umbrella. This is small. It fits in your sling bag. It fits in your knapsack. You know, you can just um, pop it in there. And then when you want to head out, just um, set it up and go. Um, of course, if you use a, an umbrella, you also risk looking quite like an auntie. But that's okay. At least um, you're protecting yourself from the heat and the sun. So yeah, really, yeah. as Lynn has said, the sun, um, UV rays is very, very damaging to your skin. Using sunscreen is one thing. Protecting yourself from the sun is another. So two in one. So, you know, you use both. You don't just use one and not the other. Agree, agree. All right. So my last item um, is actually a clothing item. I am so hooked on this uh, Uniqlo Arism Yay, bra Uniqlo. tops or whatever <laughs> tops they, are, they have, um, even the non-bra ones I yes. think here. Yeah. They are very, very light and um, the thing is, the, the wonderful thing about the Arism line is that it helps keep your body cool. I have no idea what technology they use but it really, really works. It does. Yeah, I can and, vouch for that. Yeah, exactly. and. Um, PB was the one, I think, who turned me on it many, many years ago when I think she blogged about it yeah, or did, something like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that they was didn't when... call it Arism then. Oh, what did they call it? I don't it? know, but they called it something weird. Yeah, something <laughs> weird. So this is Arism. Um, I have a few in different cuts and different colours, and I think I'm wearing one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it comes in um, yeah, different sizes as well. And the largest they have in Malaysia is probably up to L or XL, if you can find them. Um, yeah, and you can and also buy them online. Oh, really? Yes, you can. I didn't even Uniqlo. know that. Uniqlo.com. Oh, wow. Yes, I know. You're Life bad. will never be the same again. Yes, <laughs> she's bad. This is why <laughs> we don't hang out as often as we should. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, this is like one of my favourite things to wear in, you know, our hot tropical weather. And highly recommended for tropical weather. Yeah, yeah. And that's our top three. So make sure you check out our top three snacks. That's going to be very, very interesting as well. Bye. Bye-bye. I think she'll be okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> started already? Yeah? yeah, I started recording already. <laughs> and you got lipstick on your exactly. teeth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, um, I guess my next item would be, what are these things? <laughs> and uh, today, on our channel, we will be doing a top three things that uh, you would uh, have in... It's okay, we can oh. redo. <laughs>